Hotel cleaners of Reddit, what is the weirdest thing you have found in a person's room? Blood, lots of blood. Literally on everything. Me, and the person cleaning with me, got out of there and reported it. Customer had gotten extremely drunk and sliced his hand open, then freaked. Also found various weapons and one time a raccoon trap. This was my first job, in high school. I worked at a nice beachfront hotel in Wildwood Crest. The place wasn't priced for tight budgets, so we didn't have much trouble other than the semi-frequent entitled octogenarians demanding weird things. I had a nice family on my floor. A middle-aged couple, their college-aged sons, and two of their son's friends. They had different friends stop by frequently, but they were quiet and there were no complaints. They were there for two weeks, never wanted anything from housekeeping, and did not let me in to clean the room because someone is always sleeping in here. So they would leave their sheets and towels outside the door, I would replace them with a clean stack and some soaps, and they would take care of everything. At the end of their stay I finally get to go in and do the heavy cleaning. They were so low maintenance I was expecting a quick in and out. The nightmare I stumbled upon was so epic in its proportions that my brain short-circuited and I just stood frozen in the doorway until another guest happened by and asked if I was okay. He glanced into the room and was also struck dumb. The room was covered, every surface, every inch of carpet, every ledge and nook, every millimeter of free space, with beer cans. Hundreds of them, neatly ranked in rows, less than an inch apart. And every beer can was filled to the brim with liquid. Not beer, but urine. In order to collect so much, they had to be saving their piss this way for their entire stay, and all their friends piss too. Everyone had to be in on it. And two week old piss sitting in open beer cans does not smell like fresh baked cookies. So I couldn't just wait in there and sweep all those cans into trash bags. Oh no. Two co-workers and I had to tiptoe in there wearing gloves and covering our noses with bandanas, gingerly pick up each can, dump it into a mop bucket, then dump the bucket every few minutes. For hours. It was the nastiest most mean-spirited thing anyone has ever done to me, and this happened many decades ago. The clincher? This was a suite. The area farthest from the front door was the master bedroom. And at the very farthest point of that room they taped an envelope to the wall. It was my tip. Twenty dollars and a note that said, if you got this far, you earned this. It was a deliberate insult. Twenty bucks, for two weeks of piss from a dozen people. Even the Biachi entitled senior citizens tipped better than that. I have no idea why these people decided some random kid deserved this treatment, but the hotel owner wasn't amused. He took photos, then charged them a 150.00 cleaning fee. When he got them on the phone and told them this, they played dumb until he told them explaining their piss cans to a judge would be pretty embarrassing. They sent him a check, as was the style at the time, and he gave the whole thing to me. He was a nice old man. Bees and bee crap literally covering every single spot in the place. The guy was a beekeeper and was delivering a hive. He brought it into the room, where the hive tipped over and broke. It took days of scrubbing with some harsh chemicals to get the poo off. Even had to repaint walls. I worked at a mountain-slash-ski resort the first year it opened. There was a big snowfall in mid-November and suddenly we were fully booked for the Thanksgiving weekend. Management didn't hire any extra cleaning staff, so it took us almost the rest of the next week to work our way through all the rooms and suites. You would not believe how many people had left half-eaten turkey carcasses, not in the refrigerator, or in the trash, but just sitting out on the counter. The smell permeated the rooms, the carpets, the drapes. It was just appalling. Was cleaning a room and opened up the nightstand drawer and found a fire alarm in a sandwich bag, along with the batteries. It was the one that went to the room, on the ceiling. The ceiling which was much taller than on any other floor. It couldn't be reached even by a reasonably tall man standing on the bed, and they had to grab one of the tallest ladders to put it back on. We have no idea how the man reached this, or if he brought in a ladder to do so, nor do we know why. He never spoke to front desk about it. Years ago, I worked at a Marriott and a guest called the front desk to report finding something gross on the window. I was a young maintenance tech and showed up thinking a cleaner missed a dead bug squished on the window or something. I got in there and the guest was like, it's behind the curtain. I opened it and looked up to find a dildo suction cup to the glass. It sprung back and forth like a door stopper. It was up top so the cleaner must have missed it. I had to get a chair to try and reach it, but couldn't. So I used a rolled up newspaper to poke and swat at it. It was one of those big foot longs. The guest was coaching me up, but it wouldn't budge. Ended up having to go get gloves and a ladder. They actually glued it so had to scrape it off the glass. I used to work on housekeeping at a children's theme park called Gulliver's Kingdom. 
I remember going into a room and it stank. I soon found the source, three dirty nappies floating in a bathtub. That is disgusting but unfortunately not completely abnormal. What was weird was the sight of an untouched large fish from one of the fish and chip shops tucked up in the double bed like a small child, around it a murder scene had been painted with tomato sauce, and placed carefully in an equally spaced ring around the bed were chips all pointing towards the fish. It looked like some sort of satanic ritual to summon the god of the chip shops. It was a pain in the arse to clean up but it was definitely a memory. The item wasn't weird, just the whole situation. I walked in and every inch of the floor was covered in rubbish except for one. We had to walk on the rubbish and it was like an extra carpet on the floor, but not just the floor. On the bed and under the bed, on every surface, even in the bathroom and in the bath too. They had only been there one night. Where did all this rubbish come from? Food wrappers, pizza boxes, shoe boxes, cans, magazines, rubbish all over. The strangest part was the trash bin. It was absolutely empty, and so was the floor around it. Like a perfect force field was erected that stopped the occupants from being able to get anything near it and yet everywhere else. It smelt rancid and took ages. I used to be a housekeeper back in my youth to pay for college. I'd say for my weirdest was when I saw these three cowboy dudes, and this was the South so that was normal, come out of a room around checkout. I head in to clean it up and there were beer cans and bottles on every available surface but the floor. Weirdest part though, room smelled completely normal and was fairly clean. Not a single indication that the beer was drank there. The grossest was when the hotel would have a section of it rented out for the local disabled Olympics. I don't know if it's because the people caring for the group with us just didn't care or if it's because they were mostly in non-disabled rooms, but those rooms were bad. Our managers would take first pass and just throw out anything in there as it was covered in feces and vomit and blood. We'd clean a bit and then let the rooms air out before a final clean and stock. Not me, but my sister. When she was 18, she worked in a hotel as a room cleaner so she had money for college tuition. It was the most basic of hotels, but relatively nice. Cleaners had very strict times and cleaning requirements. They had only half an hour to clean each room, since it was a larger hotel, it had five floors. One day she came home from work exhausted and considering quitting. She said she walked into a room and started to pull the blankets off the bed to swap them out. As she pulled off the blanket, she saw blood on the sheets. She didn't think much of it at first. She assumed that a girl had slept there and had her period. Then, she went into the bathroom. There was blood on the ground, in the bathtub, on the mirror, even in the toilet. She looked closer and saw blood stains on the carpet near the window. She began to fear the worst, and she wasn't allowed to call the police immediately since she had to talk to her supervisors or something first. She did, and convinced him to let her call the cops. She had explained what she found, the cops came, found nothing, and left. To this day we have no idea what happened or if whatever happened was caught. My sister was a housekeeping manager for years at a five-star resort in Aspen. Once she told me a story of walking into the room of a reputable couple to find thousands of used whippet, nitrous oxide, cans all around the suite. She said they completely covered the room and the couple had only been there for one night. I wish I still had the photo to share. She had taken a picture with at least five trash bags filled with empty canisters. Broccoli and spinach in the shower on two separate occasions. Three jars of mustard on the bedside table, this was in a suite that had a full kitchen and separate bedroom, so there was no logical reason why the mustard would be in the bedroom. 